Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be discussing the festivals. And uh, I'm going to be ranking them from what I found to be my favorite to my least favorite. Obviously, we're going to start at the bottom, but uh, I figured since we have about six of these now, uh, and this festival seems to be particularly divisive, I figured let's talk about why I enjoyed the festivals that I did, why I didn't enjoy the other ones, and just kind of like the pros and cons that we have seen throughout the festivals. So let's start off at the very bottom, number six, which I would say is the Synchro Festival. Now, personally, I love Synchro Summoning. I was super excited for this festival, but honestly, this one was very boring. Every game seemed to be decided by a coin flip, basically. Uh, if you went first and you just comboed off, great, fantastic. Your opponent's not going to be able to break your board 90% of the time. It was very boring. The combos were long. There was a ton of true Draco everywhere. This was genuinely true Draco festival, more so than anything else. Uh, there wasn't like Eldritch or anything like that, because I, I believe that was actually hit on the ban list, which was nice. Um, this was also the one that was... Uh, that didn't have the self-TK decks, which was nice, but just the overall format of Synchro Summoning being so long and drawn out. We had things like Flower Guardian, we had things like Synchron, we had things like uh, even Resonator. All of these things take a really long time, and it, it was just kind of very one-sided. Um, not really the most interactive or enjoyable festival. Uh, so... There you go. There's that one. Next up, this will probably be controversial. I didn't like this current festival. I don't like it. It's not It's not fun. Uh, the X-Zero festival for me has been really bland and boring. It's been a lot of Eldlich, a lot of Benkai OTK, and a lot of Flunder. Uh, three uh, decks that literally just prevent you from interacting with them, except for the Eldlich. Eldlich is actually pretty fun to play against in this format. Um, but yeah, like uh, Benkei is determined by like the coin flip sometimes uh there's not a whole lot that you can do to play against the deck the deck just it plays board breakers it otks you that's kind of its whole jam um flunder is awful why does flunder exist um yeah that, that's like a big thing about the extra deck festival uh, events anything to do with them they're gonna be just entirely full of flunder from now on, uh, which really does detract from the overall event enjoyment. Because um, flunder's just not a fun deck to play against, and it's not really that fun of a deck to play either, because once you've played the deck like 10 times, you've played it all. Uh, it's not something that you really need to play to put a whole lot of games in with. Um, so yeah, just not really the most enjoyable, especially at the upper ends of the table. And when you see the other decks that are at the lower end, they're also not very interesting. Uh, they're kind of just like really jank, weird stuff, and they're not that fun to play against either. Um, yeah. Uh, that being said, you do get to play against Witchcrafters, which I actually enjoy doing. Uh, I think Witchcrafters are at least reasonably interesting. Um, but still, yeah, a lot of the top tier strategies with this event have been lackluster. Um, again, that's just for me. I know a lot of other people have really enjoyed this event. Uh, but yeah, this one I just didn't enjoy where I was at. The duels that I had, not very fun. Moving on, we have the XZ Festival. So this one was... This one was actually pretty good. The biggest problem that it had was the fact that a lot of decks or a lot of players were just like self TKing themselves. Uh, they weren't actually playing the game, it was just like, oh, I'm just going to burn myself, and you don't actually get to play the game. Uh, and it was a lot of Zeus Turbo, but, I mean, that's to be expected. When they don't ban Zeus in an XZ event, that was to be expected. But, in all honesty, the meta at the time was surrounding a lot of XZ summoning strategies. There were a lot of very different decks that were playable and interesting to play against. Um, and since this was so early on in the lifespan of Master Duel, the players were more willing to experiment with various different decks and weren't just stuck playing uh, top-tier meta decks, uh, even with the event itself 
having a specific meta. Most people weren't playing it. And I was in Platinum at the time. Uh, so, obviously at the top of the ladder, it was still the same way. Sure, you did play against a lot of Zodiac and stuff like that, but it was still interactive and uh, fun to kind of like play back and forth, uh, which wasn't really the case with like the Synchro Festival. Uh, definitely not the greatest, but I enjoyed it a little bit more than the X Zero Festival, just because it was. It may just be the fact that the the event was a new thing for Master Duel, and it was and Master Duel was new. Um, but I mean, that still increased my enjoyment of the event. So there you go. Next up, I have the Limit One Festival. This one was just. Uh, traditional slash hydrolander slash um highlander format it wasn't very interesting I, I would say i was the least excited for this one but it worked out fine like i didn't really have any it wasn't awful like there weren't any really terrible duels um although so it really did feel like you know what actually i'm gonna i'm gonna switch these two um i had more fun with the xe event now that i'm thinking about it the the limit one festival it just felt like a sack fest where, hey, I happened to draw Raigeki, a good game. I happened to draw the Pankratops. I happened to draw the full Sword Soul combo. I happened to draw this, that, or the other thing that just kind of wins me the game right here on the spot. Um, cool, good game. Or like, my opponent just never really got to play the game. Uh, so yeah, I, I wasn't a big fan of this one. I understand why it was enjoyed by many. Uh, but yeah, it was, even the unique decks that people played weren't very interesting, um, cause it was just a whole bunch of one-ofs. It was all like the powerful one-ofs. It was very similar to like goat format, staple building philosophy, which I don't really enjoy. I think that's very boring. Uh, it's very, very boring to play against. There isn't really much variety in the decks themselves. So it just was bland and boring. And at number two, we have the Fusion Festival. Obviously, you know what number one is at this point. But with the Fusion Festival, the reason I liked this one so much was because uh, th most of my favorite decks are Fusion decks. We have Dark Lords. They, you know, first Dark Lord. We have Witchcrafters, which also play things like Invoked. We have Shadals, again, a Fusion deck. Uh, Despia, again, a Fusion deck. There are a lot of Fusion decks that I really enjoy. So just being able to play those Fusion decks at a high level... Uh, was very fun, and I think that the boss monsters for fusions are a lot more interesting and diverse because of the fact that they are fusions, right? With synchros, you can have regular synchros, you know, generic synchros. With Xyz, you can have generic Xyz, right? But with fusions, it's more archetypal, so you're more likely to see specific archetypal fusions and more archetype-focused strategies rather than just, like, generic sword soul combo dot exe uh so uh, that was another reason why i liked it it was more interesting decks with uh unique boss monsters that were interactive and interesting to play against uh and there wasn't actually as many invoked players as previously there was still a lot of true draco which was a problem but uh the true Draco wasn't nearly as bad as it was in, like, the Synchro Festival, so it wasn't the worst. And then, moving on, we have the best event that we've had this entire time with the NR Festival. L look, the NR Festival was a home run from start to finish. I think the ban list was probably the best out of the entire event. There were several decks that you could play uh, that were good. You could play basically any deck that you wanted to because it was common and rare rarity so you could build whatever deck you wanted to and play it it was just overall this was genuinely one of the most fun events and i really wish that we could have had a format that stuck around with the nr festival um format basically where yeah just because it was so entirely different like the gameplay the 
mechanics, like everything that you had to play around was so very different. Uh, Megalith was very popular, which I like because I like Megalith. I like rituals. That was super cool. Um, but so was Metal Foes. And so was, I mean, True Draco was still around, but it wasn't oppressive in any way. Uh, there was so many weird, fun decks. Like Crazy Cube was a card that could actually be played. Same with the Diamond Crab King. You know, there were so many just cool cards that you don't normally see that you got to see through the NR Festival. So it just, I mean, I don't think that's a controversial opinion that the NR Festival was just the best, but it was. It was genuinely enjoyable to play. Like, I would rather play that than ranked right now, just because it was an entirely separate format. Uh, unlike a lot of the other ones, like the Xe Festival or the, uh, the the Synchro or the Fusion Festival at the time, a lot of those were just kind of like the standard meta. But yeah, uh, all in all, that's all that I really had to say. I just wanted to come in here and be like, yeah, these are, these are what I enjoyed. Um, most of the festivals, though, have been not fun. Uh, I would say the only one that I actually enjoyed my time with was the NR Festival. Uh, every, every other one has been a slog, and it's just like, let me just get my gems and get out so that I no longer have to play this because it's not really that fun. It's just kind of like, okay. Um, but all in all, I did really enjoy the NR Festival. Uh, and that's basically all that I... <laughs> There you go. That's my list. Uh, I'm sure that you guys are going to disagree. And if you do, if you think that you, uh, well, if you had a different experience with any of these festivals and you want to rate them differently, I actually made this on tier maker. So you can go and rank, rate them yourselves. Or you could just tell me down below in the comments and be like, Hey, I think that the X zero festival has been the best one. And I will be like, okay, odd choice, but okay. <laughs> But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think down below, and uh, that's going to be it. Hope that you guys did indeed enjoy. If you did, it likes it very much. So appreciate it, and remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye.